Welcome to the Grey Market Safari. Here it is, the fucking coup de grace of Halloween games, in my opinion. Yeah. We are haunted by guilt and tormented by nightmares. Jennifer screams in the infernal temptations of the mask. So, yeah, Splatterhouse. He's much more well acquainted with this game, but uh, it's fucking rad. It's super fun. She just got eaten by a vagina, so, you know, watch that a few times because you don't see that every day. Uh, but, yeah. We're cheating a little bit on it because we just kind of want to play. And we know, I know for a fact this game is hard as fuck. You usually can make it to the octopus, but yeah, that's if I'm lucky. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to fucking kick some ass and talk some shit and do all that kind of stuff. And that's fucking really cool looking. I love the, the little, like, the little red uh, text lines and shit like that. It yeah. looks awesome. Like, it looks seriously... They should, like, go and do, like, a retro version of this game on Steam or something like that or something along those lines. Right? It's in this kind of... In that style. Like, how cool would this be as a movie, too? Yeah. Like, to do that that concept of just, like, you know, you, you need the fucking mask. You have to uh, embrace the evil to destroy it. And, like... Yeah. yeah I know. It's and, kind of a typical whatever. Yeah. Use, the, use the forest kind of thing. But it was just... Fucking how cool is this? Like, oh, hey, here's a little forest and there's a bunch of bodies in the tree. It's a fucking... Yeah. This game is just It's like they could dark. do it right, but they're probably... They probably end up doing it like Doom or something like that. Like, let's get Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And Dude, he gonna, could be Rick. Yeah, it's totally fine. He's... He's really good at acting and emoting and stuff. Dude, it's hard to be Rick. Yeah. Just so you know, yeah, dude, I, I went as Rick for Halloween one year. Every single house I went up to, oh, it's Jason. <laughs> and, I, and I, of course, matter-of-factly just said, no, I'm Rick. And I guarantee every person went, like, this kid is retarded. He doesn't understand <laughs> Halloween. Like, dude, you're not Jason. Like, Give you don't some know your candy. name. Like. <laughs> Give him some more candy, like, his na this is kid's name Rick, and he's retarded. Like, no, no dude, it's a fucking Rick. costume. You just don't understand obscure video games, because I think when I went in, in that costume, it was before this one came out. It was based on the original Splatterhouse. I'm like, fuck yeah, Splatterhouse. That's child appropriate. You need me. That fucking title screen sucks, though. <laughs> it's like, Splatterhouse, it's it's somebody just spilled jam everywhere. Oh. It's Jelly Boy, dude. <laughs> yeah, right? Rick's going right. to pop out, start punching people with his dick. These games, I played a lot more of Splatterhouse 3, but these games are fucking disgusting. Like, and I'm not usually one to be like, eh, whatever, you know, like, Check it's, this it's video out. game violence. Oh! Oh, dude, that's amazing. <laughs> it's like, this shit is, like, actually gross. Like, I don't really want to fucking watch this while I'm eating my breakfast. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> This little thing goes down, chomps on that. Like, yeah, dude, this game's fucking, it's it's gross. I mean, it looks super limited because you're just going, like, side, you know, just total side-scroller. Right. But it's not. Like, it's, there's so much extra shit going on. And, you know, like, the presentation does kind of look shitty, but at the same time, it's really cool. Got the little foreground, got the background, yeah. got the further background. Like, yeah, with that parallax scroll going on with the, the clouds. Splat shit. <laughs> fucking chest bursters going on. You can give that guy a fucking home run. Boom. Oh, and he leaves his item at the door. For Game Master, that doesn't seem that hard. Oh, this guy's going like, shit, Rick's coming. Rick! Uh-oh. guy's like, I don't want to go in there. Jump, jump. Oh, but I don't want to face Rick either. <laughs> oh. Come on. I don't think our cheat code's working at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now our cheat codes are working properly. And we're cheating, like, hard. We're cheating, like, really, really bad in this game. But that's because we just want to see the fucking game, because this game is fucking awesome, and it's not easy. But let the record show, without the cheat codes working properly, I beat the first boss on Game Master. Just like you don't get touched in Castlevania until level 4. Yeah, but I actually did, you know, <laughs> this time I beat level 1. I couldn't. No, that was, that was pretty impressive. I couldn't, gonna... couldn't take out the howler monkeys of the elevator, though. And I went to this Christian daycare when I was like four years old. <laughs> and I used to draw scenes from the video game. Oh my god. Yeah, you know, they were just like. like I think he's possessed. If you did that today, like, Child Protective Services yeah. definitely would have been at your house. Oh yeah, I totally would have fucking died right there. <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. Bone time. Yeah, that bone. This is so fucking rad. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, he just fucking brutalizes him right into the ground. Oh, that's dead. amazing. Yeah. That seems like it could have been clearer. Yeah. He's got big eyes. Dude. Oh, you're supposed to hit him in the eyes, I gotcha. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, when in doubt. I thought it was just kick somebody right in the eyes. Dude, you would have been dead like eight times oh, right yeah. here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> These levels are crazy short. I mean, unforgiving as fuck. Like, I know we're cheating right. and shit, but you just see, like... You oh, just like, see oh. how many times it would have been hit. Oh, my oh, God. Dude. You let me have the fun boss. Dude, that's fucking disgusting. If you think that's offensive, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping you were going to get oh, to saw the, the baby. Bam. Ooh. Like that? Oh, shit. Like, who brought that to the writer's room? The development room? They're Dude. like, yeah, so... For uh, level three or for level four, I'm thinking chainsawing hanging fetuses. Yeah, dude, that's that's a good idea. Hanging psychic fetuses, and we're gonna kind of make it look like a carnival attraction. Yeah, about him. Oh, oh my god! Full screen bloodiness. Oh, that's a dude. That's game over screen in most games. Yeah, that's just level that's three. A, that's success. Out. Oh, I see a building on that island, girl. It's the house. I like how, like, escape mental patient Jason Voorhees has, like, <laughs> super karate moves. Dude, it's Rick. Rick. I, we've gone over this, man. <laughs> no, I'm Rick. Are you going to actually die? No. Oh. There are worse things than death in Splatterhouse. <laughs> Still retarded Please turkey babies. Damn things. Look at all those. They're just everywhere down here. Their heads fall off. Oh, you can grab their heads and use it as a weapon. Oh, really? Yeah. There we go. There you go. Okay. Wait. Oh, what is this? This arm broke off on the controller. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to jump over him. Look at this. This is boss is like so fucking hard to fight. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Like, you can't even beat him with the game genie on. <laughs> this is bullshit. Fuck this stupid game. Let the record show Jeff would have died 40 times already. <laughs> What's new? Oh my god. Would you imagine dealing with this crap in real life? <laughs> no. Like, even if you had the mask. Like, you'd, you'd need one hell of a terror mask to want to do this. I mean, you would just... That would be I'm so gonna... terrifying that you would just <laughs> mentally break down. <laughs> like, cripplingly terrifying? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, melted that weird spider thing. Dude, this game's really easy when you cheat. <laughs> Alright, you got some, like, Evil Dead reference here with the... Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, this game is fucking great. Isn't it just awesome? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, this is just shows you the dangers of reading. Especially if the library only has hands in it. <laughs> you guys ever been to hand library? Grabby hands. They're all manicured though, look at that. Yeah, that's good. It's Shaniqua. <laughs> Get out of my library, fool! That's racist. <laughs> okay. Just right. alien specimen jar in the basement? Yeah, why not? Dude, stuff's gotta come from somewhere. Uh, I'm a little disappointed uh, that they're just like a color shifted. Uh, yeah. Like normal monster. And there's no consistency to it. Like, that one's breathing that, you know, they, they just kind of come out whenever. Of course, now I'm curious, like, what's in the basement? Ah, you know, we gotta look. Dude, this, this game actually had a uh, rating on it before the ESRB was created. They were like, hey, this is pretty gross. Like, you might want to ESRB? Try something else. Yeah, like, well, they they put a warning on there, like, you know, not recommended for children under 13 or something. Yeah. So this game's actually pretty gross. Is this, uh... Jesus. Like, this, this yeah, area, like, this, this, this is this brutal. Beautiful. If you fell in that hole, you would be fucked. Like, not cheating. Yeah. That's kind of the idea. I think they wanted to... <laughs> like, yeah. they're like, just don't screw up. Because it's much, only yeah. going to get worse. Grandpa's gone crazy with the liquor again. Right? Dude. This level is merciless. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I mean, well-named game. I yeah. Mean, not, it's not like you should be 
surprise, you know, like, oh, dude, this game's really splattery. <laughs> A little bit more splatter than I would have liked. Fucking digital voice first saying help me. That shit gave me nightmares when I was a little dude. <laughs> and now it's gonna give you nightmares. Oh my god! Right, dude? For <laughs> That's amazing! Punch. Your stupid face. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like I'm fighting off chicken nuggets. <laughs> now made with 100% more head. Oh, McDonald's. Chicken nuggets. Made Jesus with... Christ. Oh my god. See, yeah. Yeah, and like, if you have this game down, easy. Really? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Like, it's it's a very, very much one of those, like, did you do this perfectly? Cool, you're good. What? Right? There I go. In the hole. I kind of think we should do, like, meatballs for lunch. <laughs> It's really, this game's really meatball -y. This is just confirming all my doubts about my video gaming abilities. <laughs> oh my god! It's almost more embarrassing than just dying all the <laughs> right? time! At least you could go, dude, that was really hard, and when you just see everything fly through you on screen, you're, you're like, like, dude, I'm, I'm really bad. So what is the hardest difficulty you've ever beaten this game on? Uh, probably easy or whatever normal. Yeah. Because I think the only difference in difficulty is how many life things you get. Because having two hits on this game is not helpful at all. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh. Is that Phil Collins? I can feel it. Come oh, it's Lawnmower Man. <laughs> He's back. You just gotta run. Okay. I'm trying. Oh, oh my god. How cool is that, though? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna throw crap at me. I mean, it's cool. It gives you, like, enough diversity throughout the game. Yeah. Because, you know? I mean, you'd think that this is just gonna be, like, a super linear, like, oh yeah, kill Straight some shit side kind of scroll game. or it's nothing like, else, oh, yeah. but they, they throw in a couple things. And she's just, like, casually, like, we're in the motorboat. I can't wait to go home. Yeah, she's gonna get that motorboat. <laughs> Do my best to look, make this look convincing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is, I've noticed that you can start, you start doing stuff and it looks like pretty awesome and then that happens. As soon as you, you miss one like, thing and then you miss like four things in a row and you just yep. feel like an idiot. See, most games would be like, you just have to fight the heads off and you're killing it that way. This is like, you gotta fight those off and you gotta get in there. Mm -hmm. Get in that ass, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's just like, like everywhere, it's everywhere you're not. Gotta have six final forms, though. Oh, I can't even imagine playing this without cheating heavily. Yeah, dude, this this part does not get easy. Oh, that's kind of anticlimactic, considering. Oh, uh, hey, baby. You ready to go? <laughs> but what of the mask? It will return in Splatterhouse 3. Oh, I mean, like, if you're just fucking awesome in this game, it's a really short game. Yeah. Definitely like half hour or something. Oh, that was less than half an hour. <laughs> oh, there's Rick without the terror mask. He's got some serious acne going on, though. <laughs> like, just, just... Gray Market Safari is brought to you by Proactive Plus. It's better than regular Proactive and mm. leaves your face feeling smooth. And acne free. Poser. I would say this is awesome that Grey Market Safari made it through an entire game, but we cheated so hard on this. <laughs> we might as well have just gone straight to the credits. We're <laughs> yeah. Grey Market Safari. Whole lot of fail. It's more about the the memories and the joy yeah. of Splatterhouse and the fact that Jeff won't be able to watch this video while he's eating his breakfast. Yeah. Big and black. <laughs> <laughs> so programmed by Big and Black. Oh man. Wow. Lob curry. Dude. Were there seriously only, like, ten people working on this game? Apparently. And apparently all of them have, uh, you know, um... Exclamation marks and... And, yeah. Pa pa papaya paya pa <laughs> paya pa Papaya paya paya? Wow. 100 taro... Dude, this is, like, the best crew ever. Do they, if Red Fox is in there, we've got we've oh got the God. golden game. I imagine that everyone that worked on this looked like 
uh, Japanese members of missing persons. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Splatterhouse 2. Congratulations. You cheated the fuck out of this game. Winners yeah. never cheat. But cheaters always win. That's yeah, true. Oh, we got deep. Alright, well, nice. let's sign off that bitch, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and maybe next time we won't cheat so bad. One hopes. Totally get into the octopus! Not with two health, dude. That's that's the game master mode here. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah. Probably need to leave it on something. Oh, yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah! Dude, <laughs> I just did that on game master mode. Take a piss for that. Take a piss for coming in. <laughs> Take a piss for coming in.